let's dive deep into movement of cards. Now, battlefield cards are the only cards that can move, and a battlefield card can only move if it has arrows, and it can move up to two zones distance in the direction of an arrow in a single direction. So if I play the card here, it can move in a single motion this way. It cannot move a uh, different direction. It has to be a single movement, and it can move up to two spaces in the direction of any of its arrows. So there we are. That is movement at its most basic form. Now, the other type of movement a card can have is to orient. So let's say I play the card here in ready position. I can orient the card by using a movement into the exhausted position. Likewise, if I wanted, I could orient the card using a movement into ready position. Both moving the cards and orienting the cards use a movement. Now, if I animate a card, let's say this card has animate. Actually, I'll just pick one that has it. Here's a card with animate. When I animate the card, animating, even though it turned the card in its orientation, is not considered a movement, though it will remove a movement from the card. Now, each card has one movement it can take per turn. So if I orient the card after it's been played, that is one movement, and I cannot move the card. Let's say I play it into exhausted position, orient it in ready position. I can no longer move the card because I've now oriented and moved the card. So when you play your card and you want to move it, make sure you play it to ready position. Further, if I move the card and I want to orient it, I cannot because I've already moved it. And in the case of a card with animate, it requires a movement to use animate, but it's not considered a movement. So let's say I play the card, I move it, I can now no longer animate the card because it no longer has a movement. Further, if I play the card, uh, let's say in exhausted position, I then ready the card during the same turn it's played. Because it's been oriented, I cannot animate the card. And then lastly, during the regroup step of your turn, when cards are horizontal in exhausted position, you can ready them during the regroup step for free without using a movement. So that allows you to make choices with your cards. However, you do not have to ready a card during the regroup step for free if you don't want to. So let's say I want to choose to ready this card in the regroup step for free without using a movement, but I do not wish to do so for this card here, then that is perfectly legal.